the Mercedes-Benz 600, W100, also informally known as the Dictator Mercedes. The Mercedes-Benz 600, W100, also known as the Grand Mercedes or Grosser Mercedes is a line of ultra-luxury cars produced by Daimler-Benz from 1963 to 1981. The forerunner of the modern Maybach mark, the Grosser Mercedes, Grand Mercedes, succeeded the Type 300D Adenauer as the company's flagship model. It was positioned above the 300 series Mercedes-Benz W112 in price, amenities, and status. Its few competitors included British and American equivalents such as Rolls-Royce, Bentley, Lincoln Continental, Cadillac Series 75, and Imperial. It was well known for its ownership among celebrities and political leaders throughout the late 20th century. If a lot of people wanted you dead, the Mercedes-Benz 600 might have been the car for you. Assembled by hand in Germany on a made-to-order basis, the 600, which came in four variations, was the go-to for ultra-rich celebrities and heads of state during its short run from 1963 to 1981. Only 2,677 of these luxury behemoths were ever shipped, but for those with the resources, and the stature, to buy one, the grossier, grand, Mercedes definitely lived up to its name. Bulletproofing was optional. The grossier was enjoyed by cultural luminaries. But its reputation is darkened by the scores of bad political actors who found comfort in its fortified and spacious cabin hence the grosser 600 earned the epithet of the dictator Mercedes. The 600, which, especially in unpredictable terrain, was an exceedingly dependable way to travel in style. Power and durability aside, the 600 used hydraulics, not electricity, for almost all of its internal functions, including seat positioning, door closure, the ventilation system, and the windows, which operated at a variable rate depending on how far you pushed the switch. It's said that closing the window fast enough could break an arm, convenient should your motorcade find itself swarmed by hungry constituents, the 600 had the loudest compressed air horn of any production auto, the better to disperse a crowd of unruly pedestrians. A newly developed V8 engine with 300 horsepower turned one of the heaviest bodies on four wheels into a battering ram with tank-like intensity. Still, the suspension was immaculate. The 600 replaced the Mercedes-Benz W189 limousine, which was nicknamed the Adenauer, after Konrad Adenauer, who employed several of these during his term as the first West German Chancellor. Production began in 1964 and continued through to 1981. During this time, production totaled 2,677 units. The 600 succeeded the 1961 Mercedes-Benz W112 in using a pneumatic self-leveling suspension, an enhancement of the Mercedes-Benz 300D Adenauer's dashboard activated mechanical torsion bar-based system. A version is incorporated in Mercedes' current active body control. With its demise in 1981, the 600 marked the last ultra-luxury model that the brand produced in an unbroken line since the Model 60 horsepower simplex from 1903. The company would return to this segment some 20 years later with the Maybach 5762, but the Maybach was extremely expensive, but these cars ultimately failed to captivate customers in the same way as their British rivals. As a result, Daimler ended production of the Maybach brand in 2012 and has not returned to this segment. As of 2019, the Mercedes flagship is the Mercedes Maybach S Class, which occupies a considerably lower price bracket and is not a true successor to the 600 and earlier models. However, it is seen as a spiritual successor, since it is the first luxury Mercedes since the 600 to feature some bespoke design touches not available on the standard S-Class.
the 600 came in four different variants. A short wheelbase four-door saloon, available with a power divider window separating the front seats from the rear bench seat, although most were built without this feature. 2,190 saloons were built under this variant. A long wheelbase four-door Pullman limousine with two additional rear-facing seats separated from the driver compartment by a power divider window, of which 304 were built. A long wheelbase six-door limousine Pullman with two forward-facing jump seats at the middle two doors and a rear bench seat of which 124 were built. A fourth variant called the Land Outlets was also made as sub-variants under the long wheelbase limousines Pullman. A total of 59 limousines were made as Land Outlets, with a convertible top over the rear passenger compartment. Two versions of the convertible roof were made, a long roof and a short roof. Of them, the short roof, which opens only above the last, third row of seats, is the more common version. Rarer, especially with the six-door land outlets, is the long roof, called the presidential roof. In all, of the 59 land outlets produced, only 26 were six-door land outlets. Of these 26, only 9 were 6 doors land outlets with a long presidential type roof. One of these 9 cars was used by the former Yugoslavian President Josip Broz Tito, and it was sold in 2017 in England, for £2.5 million. Land outlets like these were also notably used by the German government, as during the 1965 state visit of Queen Elizabeth II. The Vatican, in addition to an elongated Mercedes 300D four-door land outlet, used for the Pope a specially designed Mercedes 600 four-door land outlet, which now resides at the Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart. Production of the land outlet versions of the 600 ended in 1980. Generally, the short wheelbase, SWB, models were designed to be owner-driven, whereas the long wheelbase, LWB, and limousine models, often incorporating a central divider with a power window, were intended for chauffeur operation. The 600's great size, weight, and numerous hydraulically driven amenities required more power than Mercedes' largest engine at that time, the 3-liter six-cylinder M189, could produce. A new V8 with more than twice the capacity was developed, the 6.3L M100. It featured single overhead camshafts, SOHC, and a Bosch made intermittently injecting multipoint manifold injection. It developed 250 PS, 184 kilowatts, 247 horsepower. The 600's complex 150 bar, 2,176 psi, hydraulic pressure system powered the automobile's windows, seats, sunroof, boot lid, and automatically closing doors. Adjustable air suspension delivered excellent ride quality and sure handling over any road surface. In 1968 the M100 engine and pneumatic suspension were fitted to the much smaller but still substantial W109-300 SEL 6.3, creating the world's fastest four-door saloon. In 1975 a larger 6.9-liter version of M100 was installed in the W116 Mercedes-Benz 450 SEL 6.9 and air suspension was replaced with a hydraulic suspension. Famous owners of the Mercedes-Benz 600 have included the following people. Aristotle Onassis, Greek shipping magnate. Bob Jane, Australian race car driver. Bobby Womack, American singer, songwriter, musician, and record producer. Coco Chanel, French fashion designer and businesswoman. David Bowie, English singer-songwriter and actor. Eric Clapton, English rock and blues guitarist, singer, and songwriter. 
Elizabeth Taylor, British and American actress. Elvis Presley, American singer and actor. Frank Packer, Australian media proprietor. Florian Schneider, German musician. George Harrison, English musician and singer-songwriter. Herbert von Karajan, an Austrian conductor. Hugh Hefner, American magazine publisher. John Lennon, an English singer, songwriter, musician and peace activist. J.K., an English singer and songwriter. Jack Nicholson, retired American actor and filmmaker. Jay Leno, an American television host, comedian, and writer. Jeremy Clarkson, an English broadcaster, journalist, farmer. Johannes, 11th Prince of Thern and Taxis. Karen Carpenter, an American singer and drummer. Mary Matthew, a French singer. Pete Townsend, an English musician. Ringo Starr, an English musician, singer, songwriter, and actor. Ronnie Wood, an English rock musician, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, artist, author, and radio personality. Rowan Atkinson, an English actor, comedian, and writer. Robert Wood Johnson III, American businessman. Udo Jurgens, an Austrian composer and singer. Anastasio Somoza de Bale, president of Nicaragua, bought a SWB for his wife Hope Porto Carrero from the first production run. Bumabala Dulyadej, king of Thailand. Chani, former Chinese foreign minister. Daniel Arapmoa, second president of Kenya. Deng Xiaoping, a Chinese revolutionary leader, military commander, and statesman. Deng Ying Chao, wife of Zhou Enlai, the first Chinese prime minister. Enver Haja, an Albanian communist politician. Francois Papa Doc de Valier, 34th president of Haiti. Francois Tamilbe 1 ST president of Chad. Ferdinand Marcos, 10th President of the Philippines who owned four, including a land outlet, a 1981 bulletproof model and a six-door version. F. W. de Klerk, 7th State President of South Africa. Habib Bourguiba, 1st, President of Tunisia. Hassan II of Morocco, King of Morocco. Hastings Kamuzu Banda, 1st President of Malawi. Hosni Mubarak, 4th President of Egypt. Idi Amin, 3rd President of Uganda. Jim Fouché, 2nd State President of South Africa. Josip Bras Tito, President of Yugoslavia. Jean Bidel Bacasa, Self-Proclaimed Emperor of Central Africa. Jean-Claude Duvalier, 35th President of Haiti. John Forster, 4th State President of South Africa. Jomo Kenyatta, 1st President of Kenya. King Khalid of Saudi Arabia. Kim Il-sung, founder and first supermeme of North Korea. Kim Jong-il, 2nd Supreme Leader of North Korea. Kim Jong-un, current Supreme Leader of North Korea. Leonid Brezhnev, General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Leopold Cedar Sanger, first president of Senegal. Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi of Iran. King Mohammed VI of Morocco. Mohammad Zia ul Haq, sixth president of Pakistan. Mao Zedong, the founder of the People's Republic of China, PRC. Murray Viljolin, fifth state president of South Africa. Mobutu Sisi Siko. Dictator and President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Zaire. Nico Diedrichs, Third President of South Korea. Nikolai Ceausescu, Romanian Communist politician and dictator. Nordam Sanok, former King of Cambodia. Omar Bongo, Second President of Gabon. Pope St. Paul Virgin Islands, head of the Catholic Church and sovereign of the Vatican City State. Park Chung-hee, third president of South Korea. P. 
P.W. Bota, 6th State President of South Africa. Religious Leader Prem Rawat. Colombian Drug Dealer Pablo Escobar. Robert Mugabe, 2nd President of Zimbabwe. Saddam Hussein, 5th President of Iraq. Silvio Berlusconi, Prime Minister of Italy. Suleiman Demirel, 9th President of Turkey. Tador Zhivkov, former president of Bulgaria. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, fourth president of Pakistan. King Fahd bin Abdulaziz of Saudi Arabia, left, and Egyptian president Hosni Mubarak waved to crowds from a Mercedes-Benz 600 Landaulet convertible limousine during a tour of Egypt in 1989. Libyan ruler Muammar Gaddafi is greeted by Hosni Mubarak as he steps out of his grossier limo in 1989. Leaders of the Khmer Rouge and Phnom Penh, including Pol Pot, Nuan Chia, Ayang Sari, and Sun Sen, with a four-door Mercedes-Benz 600 and Phnom Penh between 1975 and 1979. The Mercedes limousine of Central African Republic Emperor Jean Bedel Bacasa is surrounded by camouflaged paratroopers during his coronation in Bangui on Sunday, December 4, 1977. Bacasa became known for imprisoning and murdering a group of children who threw rocks at his car in 1979. Dictator of Chad, Francois Tamilbe, right accompanies French President Georges Pompidou through his capital city of Unjamena on January 26, 1972. Tambalbe would be assassinated less than three months later in a coup d'état. U.S. President Richard Nixon cruises in a six-door land outlet convertible in 1970. Queen Elizabeth II's Mercedes receives a camel escort in Abu Dhabi during her tour of the Gulf states. February 1979. King Hussein of Jordan is escorted home in a customized six-door Pullman in 1999 after spending six months at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota undergoing chemotherapy. North Korean leader Kim Jong-il at the Hermit Kingdom's 65th anniversary parade in Pyongyang on October 10, 2010. Israeli Defense Forces used a Mercedes-Benz 600 to pose as Ugandan ruler Idi Amin's motorcade during a raid on Entebbe Airport in 1976. Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev and Yugoslavian dictator Josip Broz Tito in Belgrade, 1971. Chinese Prime Minister Zhou Enlai traveling in a four-door grocer. Romanian communist dictator Nicolae Ceausescu rides with his Yugoslav counterpart Josip Broz Tito in the early 1970s. The Mercedes 600 still commands great presence, which is very helpful in current traffic conditions. Other drivers give you room, perhaps fearing the consequences of getting too close, the excellent vantage point and 360-degree vision shrink the car around you and by modern standards it is not so wide. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles profanities I see the world through ice covered in pink and bleach Cross up 